Hamilton. I'm 24 years old and I live on the Gold Coast, Australia. Uh, currently working in the construction industry and uh, on a side project at the moment I've just begun uh, called The Sufferer's Guide and it's a blog about cystic fibrosis which I was born with and I wish to raise hope, hope and awareness for families that are also dealing with this condition. Originally I came up with the idea of the, the blog from a book that I've been trying to write for several years um, as a teen coming into my late teens went through not really hard times but more so puberty and I was trying to write a book to explain to younger kids what they what they possibly could go through um, you know everyone's an individual but I just want to express my my um, my story with people so that when they got to that age they knew that what was normal and what might not have been normal um, so I got pre laid on the book probably chapter 15, 16, and I got to a few questions I couldn't answer myself, you know, due to um, my gender, and age, and you know, things I haven't faced in my life because I've been generally healthy. So I re-evaluated where I was at with the book. Um, I decided that it's probably better to be interactive and live with what I do. So I created the Sufferer's Guide um, for people to reach out to me and uh, for me to get feedback from the community on how I was dealing with cystic fibrosis, which uh, in my life, it's not really a setback, I see it as a thing to move forward. So I, proved to, I, pro I try and prove to people that, you know, it lives with you, you don't live with it. Uh, the blog uh, reaches out to people that, um, you know, they don't have to necessarily be in the same boat with the condition or at the same stage in their life, but at least they can, at least they can take on what I say or, you know, give me feedback on what I've done. So that, uh, you know, younger sufferers can can live the same quality of lifestyle or even better really uh, than I've lived, you know, and I, I have nothing negative really to say about my life. Everything's been positive so far through the way I've lived, through sport, uh, therapy, and um, you know, medicinal therapy. But yeah, you know, saying yes to triathlon was, was not a hard question, not a hard answer to give because that's, that's how I, I do stay healthy. Um, by being involved with athletics, sport and stuff like that, Traveling, you know, saying yes to pretty much every opportunity that arises and sees in the moment, really, because, you know, whether you're given a life expectancy or not, um, I think it's I think it's important just to take life on 100%. Yeah, so just under 90 days to go for the triathlon, big game day, and uh, training is well and truly underway for that. Um, Got to work pretty hard for this one. It's a big event, but uh, between now and then, I uh, got a lot of articles and a lot of, a lot of um, content for my followers on my blog. Uh, not just articles to read, but videos and stuff like that for those of you who prefer to watch than than read. And uh, <clears throat> if I could just take a take a moment now to actually thank the people that have got me this far, uh, the followers of the blog thus far, the feedback's been phenomenal, and you know, really appreciate everything you say and. Can't wait to continue this journey with you guys, uh, not just on my own. But it hasn't been on my own so far. It's been it's been supported by a lot of people, uh, such as my partner Caitlin, who does all the editing. You know, I put everything on a piece of paper, and she sits there and nuts it out so everybody can understand my gibberish when I when my brain explodes with information. But I'd also like to thank my parents who gave me this perception on life this far. You know, um, they've done the hard yards when I was young with physio and medicine and stuff like that and here I am today acting like I don't have cystic fibrosis seven days of the week so I really appreciate them. Uh, the other thing I'd like to like to shout out is uh, Jason and everybody else at Loose Kid Industries. Um, they support cystic fibrosis and the stuff they do is phenomenal for the kids and stuff like that like first day of summer and that and I uh, hope to in the future uh, meet everybody who's watching this video or following my blog uh, one of their Beats and Eats events they hold at their factory, raising money for cystic fibrosis and good food and good music, everyone has a good time. So yeah, thanks very much, appreciate it.